12. Okay, Catalina, nice to have you here. So you were telling us that you have a friend in Sri Lanka? Yeah, it was so funny that I heard that he was over there. Yeah. It's really interesting. And actually, she's a, a literature. A, he made a book for, he, for her um, nephew because they can't come now. And she wanted him to know where she lived. So it's called Donde Esta La Tía. And it's a really interesting book because it's uh, made for kids. And she made uh, like uh, designs by her hand. So the illustrations of the book are hers. And she explains everything in Sri Lanka. And it's really nice. It's on Amazon as well and it's online. It, it would be interesting. I'm going to tell Ruben about this because I think it would be nice. We're waiting for him. Okay, so yeah. I take advantage of this uh, while we wait for Ruben to tell all your students that next week, Sunday, Catalina here talking, she's going to be presenting another forum. Okay. <laughs> no? So be ready next Sunday. She's going to be telling us how, what, what is it about, uh, Catalina? The importance of self-care in our daily life. Okay, the importance of our self-care. So please, it's regarding all this about COVID and all that, the things that we have to take care of, right? Something. Yeah, and it, no, it's more far than that. Not only this COVID thing. I think we're not accustomed to maybe uh, hear about these things or this term. It has been more mentioned now, but I think that I don't know if we really know how this has like a rule to be done, or maybe if we think about this in day for day, I think. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice. It would be nice. Yeah. So please, all of you, next <laughs> weekend, next Sunday. Looking forward to see you there as well. How, what happened to your father? Where is he? I don't know. I'm trying to contact him now to see if everything is all right. But did he understand that the session was going to be immediately after? Well, I guess so. Oh, I think I'm, so. I'm going to give him a call. You, yeah. <laughs> yes, give him a call. Maybe he, he, thought, he thinks that it's going to be next Sunday or something. But it's incredible, students, the way he illustrates us these tricks, no? It's like that he did it yesterday and some of these tricks were made 20 or 30 years ago. No, it's incredible the memory that he has. No? It's like we live the adventure with him. <laughs> yes, he explains everything, he remembers everything. No, <laughs> but he was sorry to displace, to take away the little, a dog with their puppies, with, no, because he, he had to sleep. Ruben <laughs> 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 is so funny with this story. You have to encourage your father, Laura, that he must write a book about this because this is oh, so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Hola. Hola, Ruben. Hola. I was Hi. yes, please, for the questions. It's very important. Uh, Ruben. I was telling my students, everyone here, that you live so much this trip that is amazing. You should write. <laughs> it is because it, it is because it is true. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's great. No, you you should write a book. No, you you should share all these experiences with someone and maybe. Be the second, the second one, the second book. <laughs> second book. <laughs> no? Okay, so do you want to talk more or are you ready for the questions? No, it's nice to meet the questions now because if not, I can speak here the whole night. <laughs> you have seen the map. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Alejandra. Yes, please, Alejandra. Ruben, please. Shoot. 
Okay, Ruben. First, uh, I I was trying to check in Google the site that you said, but where a lot. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. It's it's so it's a, a lot of places. So thank you. It was a thank really you very really much for listening. <laughs> yeah. No. Thank you. It was a really vibe uh, story. I I I have. I I, I feel so so happy to hear all these things it's, it's really interesting now just just two no just two questions first is um, i suppose that many of these travels did you or do yeah you did it uh, alone right yes okay so i uh, i don't know um how do you prepare these how do you plan how do you start doing and thinking what uh, what do you want to go or or that what is your methodology to do it, to do it <laughs> well, yeah, it's just uh, some some of these trips i have been making the, at least the last 20 years once because it has been uh, almost uh, since uh, 87 that i have been traveling around like this at least the last 20 i have been together with my wife so I see what it is uh, most available. The, uh, it is not only one person that I have to take care of, but is my wife too. So it, it costs much more, it is double. And uh, I don't want to expose my wife to go around with a big pack and it is more cheese. We are like a family now. So, and, I, and most of these, the first uh, 10 years that I have been with my, my wife, at, at least I have to take a child with me, the, uh, our last child. So it, uh, there were three, we were three. So the ones uh, that I have been traveling around with big pack, it was before when I was um, young and beautiful. Now I am only beautiful. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it just come it just come because of you hear you you hear the the it is it goes like a like a mode like a mood like una moda oh you hear the one oh look this thing oh and we have been here you see the newspaper uh, sometimes now you see in in the television for example and when I see the the the, the YouTube in Colombia they have this uh, man Piri Piri. Piri. Like he's traveling a lot too. I don't know how he, he makes his trip himself, but he, I think that he's very funny, especially the one in Dubai. You see he arrived in Dubai, the, the big uh, Abur. So I so it is just because it, 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 it comes just like that. It is nothing especially that I choose. But what I think it, uh, most amazing is that the that the combination it is just because it has been like that it has not been planned it just come oh this time in india just because it was cheap because it was this because yeah okay i understood okay never and... to have like a pattern never a pattern just okay. because of the feeling okay okay nice nice to hear about that and the other question is did has you been in bali yeah Bali, twice in Bali, amazing place. I really recommend it. It's yeah. stunning. The next, next time I think that the resto is going to give the opportunity my daughter because she has been also, she has been living in Indonesia months, almost six, seven months. Okay. She was making a practice there in the Swedish embassy and we were together in Bali. Okay, we nice. Were a, a month around there, this is one of the best experiences I have had with her also traveling around with her daughter that it is not a baby but she's grown up and it's a different thing wow okay so glad to, 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 to hear Beautiful. you and bali. laura about bali nice to, to hear about, about that thank you thank you and uh, it was you. a really nice uh, afternoon sorry, sorry laura thank you alejandra laura so you you'll be with us for your experience in bali <laughs> Yeah, it, it was really nice. I can recommend it. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you'll tell us about that in an in the next forum, okay? <laughs> okay, I sure. Have, I have some questions for her too. Okay. 
I, I can tell you about Bali and some other places in Indonesia because there are also other places that are beautiful. I think sometimes Bali might be a little bit overrated in comparison to other places that might not be as popular and touristic as Bali is. But I, I can tell you all about it next time. Okay, excellent. Okay, Catalina, please, a question to Ruan Darío. Um, so do, um, I know that you don't plan very much. You just say, oh, here is the opportunity. This is the cheapest place to come and I want to meet that. So you go. But do you have, a, I don't know, a traveler's guide or you just go and ask the people from the place when you get there? where you can stay because I remember I really love to travel like this and I was really really inspired you know because it's really really nice just go and you'll see how it goes right yes um, and sometimes um, I see that you have like tours or free tours that are offered in some of the cities have you done with done it that way or Where do you yes. decide? I want to go over there, but okay, you go over there and then do you have someone do? who advises do? you? Or Yes. <laughs> Look, here, for example, the, the, the first kind of trips that I made, like as a backpacker, mm -hmm. uh, so I, it, uh, it was not so popular in the before the year 2000, the from the 80s, late 80s to 2000, I didn't know that they have so many guides, that books. Now they have very beautiful, nice books that is called The Lonely Planet. I don't know yeah. if you have seen them. Yeah, I They are very popular. Them. They are very well done. They have special things. Everything is detailed. But before I, I didn't check if they were, if it was possible to see that. So I asked my friends, have you been here? Have you been there? So they made me, they wrote to me a paper. <laughs> go here, go there. Yeah. Look, you, can do here. you can go to these hostess, people that they have been running around. So this was, I went to India, to Hampi, to um, Sri Lanka. This, this was my guide. With your guide, that's so nice. This was my guide. <laughs> yes, and then making the route uh, in, in our country, cities uh, in Colombia, for example, it is was, I, I, when I grew up, uh, it was not so popular that we travel around, but it is a, it's a, yeah. it's a big wave of people from Italy, many free people from Sweden, European people, that they usually, Israel people, Jewish people, yeah. they finish the army and they go around. Many they come people, to Colombia. They, They're coming a lot they to, come Colombia. to Now I they are coming to Colombia very that. much for one or another reasons. We have seen these parties on the north of the country, the trade parties or whatever. So it, now we know this, now this generation know this because we see it in our, But it is not many Colombians that they are participating in this kind of parties. They make their own parties. They take their own drones. They take their own people. It is just like for them. But uh, in other countries, it has been a big wave. 70s, 80s, 90s. Many mm -hmm. people going around and it was like, a, and people, they make friends. You come to one place and you, you are Swedish and you see another Swedish girl or you are So they become, they makes like you like a like a companionship, and many people they get together. They are couples. Oh, I met you here. I say I have yeah. seen, I have seen people. Oh, I met you in Putra Party 20 years ago, and we now we have <laughs> children and we are living together. It is uh, like like a wave. We are not. Yeah. We don't have this. We don't have this opportunity because the Colombian passport nobody wants. It is yeah. one of the problems that the that the drug um, a problem that we have in Colombia has, it is not only an economical, a uh, soci social problem, but this is one of the consequences too. Because um, if we, we were allowed, uh, excuse me, yes. No, and I, what was like your first motivation to start traveling? Because you really started young. Why, what was your motivation for your first Trip. In the beginning, I told you that it's the curiosity, curiosity. The curiosity. I want, I always want to, I think that is a, a, because of, of my lack of knowledge. <laughs> so I was, I was, I have been very hungry to, so, oh, nice. I want to see this, how, what is that, what does this taste, who is this kind of people? So I, the, the lack of knowledge is a, one a good motor Great. in life, I think. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, it's time for, let's have Juan David. One question to Ruben, please, Juan David. Okay, so Mr. Ruben, thank you very much for all your experiences. I mean, I have enjoyed this forum a lot. I think it's <laughs> more that. So me too, fun. me too. Like, it's like a candy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yes. And I wanted to ask you, well, I'm soon to, to be part of a university, to this uh, university, that lifestyle. And I'm, you know, I'm so scared because um, I'm looking for a start studying into another country in the United States. Uh, I tried here in Colombia, but well, I'm scared. Anyways, in here or in another country, I'm scared. You know, this uh, transition to the high school to the university, sometimes in, you are a little bit afraid of it. So I wanted to ask you, with all the experience you have, for you, which is the best country that we can study? For instance, you can say, okay, I think this country is the best for studying. To, to, to the, first, the first country to, to start traveling around? No, to start studying. To study, study. Yeah. Okay, we, I, we, me, you, you got the privilege that we begin to study in a very beautiful and nice country. I think that the best country that we have is, is, is our own country. Because when, when, but the conclusion I want to make about all these trips and everything is nothing like Colombia. The best beach is, it is not Goa, it is not Bali, it, it is the north part of Colombia, San Andres, Providence, at least as I knew it before it was the, the last uh, tsunami or whatever it was. Uh, Santa Marta, the Tayrona Park. What I wanted to say to you is that in Colombia, we have very good, very good education. We are people that we are very, we are very warm people. We are very curious. We want, we we know, and we like to take uh, from the from the very best. And that is the the best advice that I can give you: that always be curious and never be afraid, because you are a beautiful person, and I know that you're going to make it your best wherever you go. <laughs> Thank you, you very, have very much. Very good foundation. Very good oh, ground. Thank you very much. <laughs> because you come from the very best country. Yeah, it's true, it's true. <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay, thank you, Juan David. Okay, Ijiala, where are you? Why don't you make a question, please? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello again, hello. Uh, Ruben, what amazing story. Uh, I hear you and all of experience are really, really funny, great, but I, I would like to know, uh, have you ever been in a dangerous, dangerous or a scary situation? Just, just to know. Just a very good question. Um, dangerous, two times, yes. Uh, the one it was when uh, I was uh, in a hurry to leave Singapore because I was short of time to go from the hotel where I was living. I just, just I passed the opportunity to say that in Singapore they have very beautiful and famous hotel that it is called the Raffles Hotel. Raffles with double if. It was one of the of the conquers of the foundation of this Singapore city. And uh, when I, uh, I, I was in, in Bali, I learned to know someone, uh, some uh, like uh, backpackers, that they own one house, guest house, that it was called the Raffles Inn, not the Raffles Hotel, of course, not the biggest and famous Raffles Hotel, but the Raffles Inn. So I went to the Raffles Inn. It was, uh, if the Raffles Hotel cost $100 the night at that time, the raffle scene cost the five dollars. That is okay. the so I went to them because I didn't have the I couldn't afford more. And in this place, it was only one uh, some small rooms like in this is called in, and they have only one big uh, dash uh, ducha, so one bathroom with the shower. And I went around and and the, I have the difficult uh, to find the time. The time was very short for me to get to the airport because I was going to lose the plane. So I wanted to take a shower because it is hot there and I needed really to take a shower because I, I get the plane and I want to come fresh. So I begin to knock the door. One man was in there, five minutes, 10 minutes. I begin to knock the door. 
15 minutes. I really take, have to take a shower. The time is getting short. And when I, 20 minutes, I begin now. Oh, and this man, oh, what the hell? What the, wait for your turn, wait for your turn. And I begin, begin to get very anxious. And then this man, I begin to really get angry. And when this, this man opened the door, I was just there getting ready with my towel to get to take a shower. When it was one man big like a mountain. <laughs> came out beef a big beef and I begin to look down like this I and this like man he, and this man he told me so you are the little bastard that you are knocking the door and I just look at him and say no no bastard no bastard then then I feel like this man is going to break me up <laughs> then that, that day I felt very bad but the, nothing else, there's nothing more scary than that. I felt threatened, but the, I just tried to keep the the situation so that he's not going to escalate more. Not no bastard, no bastard. Yeah. <laughs> nice experience. So fun, so fun. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Margarita, where are you? <laughs> Hi, Rubens. Thank you so Hello. much for your experience. Are very exciting. I, no, I love okay. when you you and uh, now uh, keep your uh, memories, your paper, your notes uh, <laughs> are very cute because it's a it's a it's, ha, it's to have uh, the memories in your life. I I love that. Uh, my question is why. Uh, what city you not do you not recommend to visit now and why? Now, now it is very difficult to travel. But, yes, <laughs> but, of course. Yes, but when we when we have the opportunity to travel, I, yes. it will, okay. I, I, my my last trip my last trip uh, it was funny that I we went I went with my wife to one of the Canary Islands, Las Islas Canarias, yes, uh, outside yes. Spain uh, in the in the right hand left hand of the of the west side of Marruecos coast. It is Spanish Canary Islands. They have a very beautiful place in the south part of the island that it is called Amadores, the, the beach of Amadores, and this fantastic, beautiful place, hotels, very beautiful. And the most amazing thing is that the sand that they have in this beach, the sand, is, is, is was brought there by, by boat from the Caribbean, from the Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean Sea, they bring even the sun there to make it so special and so beautiful. And it is very nice because it, it is our own language, Spanish. Yeah. And you, so if you have the opportunity to go to the Canary Island, I, I recommend that it is not so, it is not so crazy just to fly, to fly to Spain. And from there, take a plane to, to the Canary Island and go to the south. It is seven, it, there are seven islands in Las Canarias. Mm -hmm. Seven, but the one that I'm talking about is, is the the capital one, like, La Gran like Canaria, you know, like uh, Rosario Island in Colombia, uh, to, like, uh, Rosario like, I Island. Yes, like San, like more like San Andres, like that that okay. type, but but little. Uh, it is much more difficult. It is much more different because they have very beautiful infrastructure, beautiful highways. Everything is very beautiful. The European community has been putting very much money to Spain. So it is the hotels, the quality of the hotels, the food, the service, the, the standard. Alba, presta el cable que se le está desacupando. Se le apagó. No, no, no. No, you see me? Yes. Okay. I don't see anything. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so like you. Gran Canarias, it would be nice to begin with. Good, Spanish, nice, easy to come. We don't need a visum to go to, 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 to come to Europe. We can stay here 90 days. And then always, if you are in Europe, you can, even travel to Sweden, where where I I have be, I will be waiting for you to 
to take you around in Sweden too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, Margarita. Okay, students, do you guys have any other questions to Ruben? We still have some little more time. So, ah, Juan David, you have a question. Your turn. Yeah, I have another question. Um, yes, for, please. For you, Mr. Um, which was like the most impressive thing you one day found in one of those countries or in one of those cities? that you say, okay, okay, this is the, I will come again to this country, to this city. Yes, thank you very much. Which, way, which was the most um, amazing thing? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He left. I think he's without a battery. No battery? I yeah. Guess, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really I know. Think, like, we can wait issues. a bit. I think that they 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 didn't have the charger or something. Mm -hmm. Well, talking now among us, very interesting all these things about these trips, no? No, yeah, really not, nice. Not that much, but I don't remember that way. <laughs> <laughs> And the dog and, uh, and the whatever. No, I don't remember that way. It's amazing. No. Yeah, it's really nice. All of uh, you. Uh, the, the names are very difficult and very <laughs> complex. So. What? And it's everything. And it's the old school, you see? It's not checking yeah. his computer. memory. He's checking his papers, his piece of papers. No, that's yeah. it. Uh, no? It was really nice. I, I remembered about because. I had to come out from, I'm also really curious. So I think that's why one of the reasons why I'm out of Colombia as well. And I remembered uh, some of the experiences just hearing him uh, because I, I made an internship in Spain, in Barcelona for three months. And I got one month to travel where I could go because I didn't have many, much money at the time. So it was funny hearing him. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> so many things. And, and it's inspiring to, to remember these experiences. And Juan David, you were asking like, where should I go? And in, if, if I can like kind of give you a, my advice, of is course, that of if we have the time, um, I think you can be curious and investigate a bit in every country that you imagine so that you could see how it goes, how much time is it, uh, which are like the uh, uh, exigencies, the requisitos. The requirements. So yes, just please. don't get just in one place. Colombia is really great, but for example, for me, I couldn't do things over there because there was no chance and life had other opportunities. So I started looking for many places and then got advice from my professors and from, from my parents and other, uh, uh, like I call them uh, like angels. Mm -hmm. or masters like coaches mentors <laughs> mentors thank you mentors i was looking for the word like mentors to decide where i could go if you really have like the feeling that you want to go out if you don't have the feeling that you want to go out then the best chance is to to look for opportunities in colombia but that's my advice just check everything you can <laughs> oh, thank Beautiful. you very much thank you very much yeah. That's true. Hi, Ruben. You're back. Hi, <laughs> Hey, Catalina. Hey. <laughs> okay. Any more questions to Ruben? We have 10 more minutes. Oh, good. He was answering to Juan David about the, the experience that you... Uh, yes. Yeah, maybe Juan David. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Alejandro. I forget by complete. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can I was you, repeat, you please? Mr. Oh, Mr. Ruben. The best experience you had 
in these countries, in these uh, um, travelings you had around your life? Yes, what is the question, please? The best experience. The best, the best. Yeah. Uh, knowing people, knowing people, and uh, trying to to get the best, to make the best, the best impression of, of we Colombians outside the world, because we always have very, very bad uh, fame. The first thing that they ask you is about the 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 problem, the the drug problem that we have. It is the only thing that the people know the most. But always to have the music with me, I always have a music. I remember I always have Shakira with me, and when Chirla. Uh, um, before many people know who Shakira was, I took the, this kind of music with me to different places in the Mediterranean. And when I arrived with my CD to one kind of party, the people get crazy. They didn't know who even Shakira was. And people know, I want to go away with my with my CD. And they say, no, 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 you can go, but you have to be the CD here. We, we are not going to give it back to you. So making, making to, to give a very good impression every time, and I like to joke very much. So I am the, the typical man who is always making the ma, mamar gallo, mamando gallo. So that's a very, because people, they have very, eh, that is very amazing that all the people around the world, they like humor. Mm -hmm. And when you have a humor and, uh, and, they, and we have a, a beautiful smile like the one you are having now, the, all the doors, they will be opening for you. That is the, the very best experience, knowing people and make a good impression. Mm -hmm. I think that. <laughs> See? Okay. Okay, more questions? I have a question, Ruben Darío. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, boss. So, uh, where is going to be your next trip? Which is the next where? destination? Yes, where? To my very beautiful Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> That I couldn't go that year because I, I bought the ticket to Colombia to, to, to go uh, from June till uh, July and August last summer. And they returned me the money. They told me that you cannot go back with your money. So the first thing that I did uh, this, uh, this February, I bought already ticket to, to go to Colombia. I, I hope that we can travel the 18th of, of June. Okay. Direct to, direct to Bogota. Probably we can meet. Okay. this time excellent that would be nice so that will be my next trip to, to colombia colombia <laughs> any other questions no no more and where's ana maria ana maria has a question ana maria she just she left in. she went out of battery no ah. she ran out of battery she says sorry no and that it was a very interesting forum and all that but she ran out of battery because definitely she will. She was going to ask you questions, no? Yes. But so we can. You ran out of battery. Okay. Yes. I have a. I have a question. Okay. Yes, please. Just to know, do you have plan any plans to write your experience to any or in a blog or a book? I don't know. No. You no. have a lot of information. And you can write a book. <laughs> yes, it is not that I have been planning anything like directly like that. But what I have been very careful to do is that I I, I um, spare every little detail, every because I have very bad memory. So I want to keep everything with me. So. All these little maps. So. You should uh, see this morning opening a lot of bags and boxes, taking out the maps taking out the little notes, the maps from the different places, the notice so that I can make a, like a research, mm -hmm. folding the maps again, because they get very old and very... <laughs> <laughs> so, and I, as I told you before, I keep every little receipt from, and I like to, to, to save, like a collection. I collect the, the, the night, how do you call the night night thing? Nap the servets, napkin, napkin. Uh, from napkin. different places because they they have different logos. So that is what I like to do to, to collect. And then uh, from every place that I go or somebody goes to a different place that they have not been there, they, I always ask them to bring me one t-shirt. <laughs> For example, I have not been in Moscow, but this very beautiful t-shirt I got from, from one friend in Moscow. Wow. 
Nice. So that's my my hobby is to to different teachers from all over the world. So I, I even if I've not been there, so I say something from a from a different place. That's the teachers that I wear when I have the when I don't have to be rep representative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and what I wanted to say just to, to finish with is that uh, every time that I make a, one kind of trip like this, I always uh, buy different souvenirs too, uh, like masks or uh, pictures or paintings. Whenever the opportunity has been better, I bought a little better kind of art, uh, start, whatever, something always, always something. And I always come back to Sweden. And from here, I always back, go back to Colombia because like, my father and my family and my mother, they have been living there all the time. They still live there. So every year that I go back, I take something with me. At least uh, one bag with something. So, um, uh, and when I come back to Colombia, the, apart from only taking one uh, little survey from wherever the places I have been, is that I try to oh, know my own country. Because when I was living in Colombia, I couldn't travel so much. But every time that I go there, that it has been more than 60 times that I have been going back and forth from Sweden just to Colombia. So go to one different uh, touristic place. Wow. So after I have been outside, I come as a tourist to my own country and it is the best experience to eat, to go around, to learn different places. So I, I am agree with the, one of the students that the, they were saying that Colombia is the very best place to go around because it's very beautiful. Okay. So the next forum can be about your experiences as a tourist in Colombia. <laughs> yes, that is beautiful because they have, we have very difficult places, very beautiful places that we we, we probably, we don't, we don't appreciate it so much because we just have it nearby. Mm -hmm. And people probably, they don't think, they think, oh, it is better to go to somewhere place exotic outside and spend a lot of money when we have it there. And many people, we, me, I even like to go and spend more, much more time in Colombia as a tourist in my own country. That's true. <laughs> Great. Okay, Ruben. Okay, Ruben. Sí. Nice. No, thank you. Thank you very much. We really like it. Thank you very, okay. thank you very much, Ernesto and everybody. It was a pleasure, and uh, they feel uh, very, very honored to be to be talking about this with all of you. Okay, okay. So please say goodbye to uh, Ruben, and thank you. Kisses. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.